I'm here with uh, Congressman Dutch Ubersberger, and uh, we are going to ask him about uh, his exploration of a run for Maryland governor. Um, Congressman, how did you decide uh, to start exploring this? Well, first thing, I love the job that I have here in Congress. Um, I feel that when I get up in the morning, that I'm doing a good job on behalf of our country and my constituents to protect our country and national security. When you're in Congress, you specialize in I specialize in the area of national security. Uh, before this job, I was a Baltimore County Executive. Uh, I managed probably, including teachers, about 21,000 people, and we had about a $2 billion budget when I was there. I loved the fact uh, that I could manage and work with people on behalf of my constituents. And when I first came to Congress, I was a little concerned about the transition uh, of going from a manager to a uh, legislator, but I, I think I I've, I've, I've like it now, I enjoy the job. Now I have a lot of friends of mine, a lot of people uh, from all sectors who have come to me and Dutch, say, Dutch, will you consider running for governor? I said, I love my job, but I also love my state. Uh, I went to the University of Maryland, you know, I was a lifeguard in Ocean City, Maryland, my family's from Western Maryland, um, and I said, well, I'll, I'll look at it. But right now, I really don't have time to do anything at this point until we res I resolve some of the issues we're working on, like our cybersecurity bill uh, and getting our budgets passed. Uh, I'm going to look at it, I'm going to explore it. Uh, I know the people that are running right now, um, and I know them all, and I have relationships with all of them. Um, but I, if I do decide to run, I have a lot of experience in management. Uh, I, I, if you look at when I was county executive in Baltimore County, we, we got our three AAA bond ratings. We were rated by Baltimore, by, by uh, a national magazine um, as one of the top managed uh, counties in the country. So I believe I do have, have the uh, experience, and you know, we, we're going to have the next four to eight years, we're going to have some difficult times until we come out of uh, this recession. I know how to deal with jobs. When I was a, a Baltimore County executive, uh, my predecessor had only created 800 jobs in Baltimore County. Uh, when I pulled together our team, we went from 800 to 47,000 new jobs. Uh, I represent the 95 Carter, where we have Fort Meade, NSA, Port of Baltimore, and Aberdeen Proving Grounds. We are considered uh, the cyber capital of the world. And uh, one of the most important things that I'm going to have to deal with if I do decide to run the for governor is, and an elected governor is deal with the issue of jobs. I feel very strongly about issues of infrastructure and, and helping our, our state uh, move ahead with jobs and have a quality of life for all of our citizens and focus on priorities such as education uh, and, and family, of, family of life, quality of life issues. Great. Have you set a timeline on uh, making a decision? To be honest with you, I've had people come to me uh, I believe this, why this has been in the media now, it was, at the talk, it was about a talk show somewhere, and uh, then the next thing you know, there was a, a question from, from the person who had the talk show, uh, would you consider governor? I said, I'm, I will look at it, but at this point I am so busy uh, doing the things that I was elected to do in Congress um, that I'm going to keep do, finishing that. I, the one be a time that I will, will maybe aggressively look at it. And, and, and before I, if I do decide to do it or do not, I'll probably uh, meet with all the uh, people who are considering running right now and see what their position is on how they're going to manage our state. Because I know them all, I respect them all, uh, and, and I do love my state just like I love my country. And uh, I, but it's a big decision. I have to talk to my family, my wife. Um, my, I, I want to make sure I can still spend time with my grandchildren. So there are a lot of issues that are out there right now. And one of the things, though, I have to say, I do love my job right now. <laughs> Great. Uh, and do you think you'll be able to compete uh, fundraising-wise at uh, this late stage in the game? I, I think uh, I've always had the ability to raise money. Um, yeah, I don't like raising money, but you can't play if you don't raise the money. Um, I think, to be honest with you, it's a lot easier raising money in the state because you're allowed to receive corporate money than it, than it is uh, in Congress where you can only have personal, uh, raise personal money and PACs. So uh, I, I believe that uh, I, I, I'm not worried about somebody having more money. I'm worried about having enough money uh, to let people know who I am, what I stand for uh, throughout the whole state, you know, including you know, the, the two, the Baltimore market, the, the Washington market, Eastern Shore, and Southern Maryland. Would you consider being the running mate uh, to one of the other candidates who's already yeah, in the I, race? I was a former county executive. Um, I'm ranking member of the Intelligence Committee now. You know, if I uh, 
decide to run for governor, I, I'm, I clearly could not, would, would not want to have the job as lieutenant governor. I think it's, it's a great job. I think there's a lot that needs to be done in, in that role. But, uh, you know, I would either want to uh, uh, be, uh, be the person who's making the decisions and, and managing the government. And I do have a lot of experience in managing budgets and creating jobs, and uh, that experience is what I'm going to be about.